Hello and welcome to Darius Comic School and today we'll start uh, classes. Um, that's how I will call my videos and this class is the story development class. I haven't put it uh, right here on the schedule but it is right here uh, after this class there will be a writing class or beginner writing class and after that um, an artist spotlight and then an anatomy class and then a painting class. We'll see. Um, I'm pushing this Darius Comic School to the next level. Um, this is the comic school I never had. I then went to movie school, worked for the movies, but then dropped out to pursue what I want to really do. Um, draw and write comics like my heroes Mike Mignola and Frank Miller. That's why we have here The Heart of Darkness uh, by Joseph Conrad and I will show you what I'm up to. Let's put this aside. So this is uh, the story development class. Um, I will call it research and development, but it's story development, comic development. I am developing a comic, a comic which I will call Daria Y probably. Um, I stick with my stupid first titles. Um, I have up there the last pickup artists, but yeah, why not? Um, I will show you my work or you maybe, uh, well, I will show you the last pickup artist up here. Oh, wait a second. I will put up a notification up here. So let's go on. So story development class. Why is this important? Um, from time to time, let me zoom in a bit. Um, it's important to show the process and um, sometimes I already work on comics, it's developed, but sometimes there is a development. And so Daria Y popped up in my head um, kind of as a future self, as um, not yet me. This is like the last pickup artist is my past but fictionalized and also treats uh, personal problems and problems of the world. And um, with this Daria Y, um, I will show you in a second, like we already have the themes um, and it's not a character, it's not just a trade-off. Oh, he has this and that, hobbies and um, <coughs> a character follows um, a character has purpose I guess um, in the story and if I show you like like let's say Spartacus or Gladiator you have definitely or in the first moment you know there is something like a slave leaning up against tyranny or the small man gathering a lot of people to take on the big man fighting for freedom this is the theme if you look at the cover uh, what I've drawn here already the theme like um, is a bit like danger girl this is where I got this girl from um, it's definitely an American comic um, it's a guy with a six-pack app but he's a rich playboy so we already have the themes of uh, Bruce Wayne uh, Bruce Wayne is Batman, but also like Zorro. We're going, um, and if you, I don't know how old you are when you're watching this, but um, if Batman is all you know, like maybe you should know that Batman maybe was inspired by Zorro, and Zorro was um, maybe a governor or somebody who lived in a wealthy man. Uh, in Mexico and then try to fight for the Mexican independence like something like that and I wanted to have this uh, comic to be a very sexy comic but then it changed and it became it became something like uh, this guy we see here on the cover was not always this ripped and this handsome like um, the future version of myself and as you can see there's a beast up here, a sacred beast. So the theme 
of the movie, I want to say, or of the comic and the research and development is definitely Revenge, which is the Berserk comic. Um, we have here the Berserk. And um, this, I guess, is why I was drawn back to Berserk, because Berserk, um, he gets born, he, I mean, he's born in guts, born by a dead mother. He's basically an orphan, gets sold somehow, like, you can call it like slavery, um, and then persists and persists, and then finds a family, then the family is taken away by Griffith, and then um, he swears revenge, and so on. So this is a very long movie. This is uh, also a very long movie, but you're getting where I get my themes, and I'm, I have not started. I've started with a character and what he's living, and I, I, I envisioned a future self, um, somebody, an artist who became rich through making his comics, through making paintings, wait, wait a second, maybe I have here, um, um, here I was drawing the sacred beast, uh, which is a bit like the Wendigo from the Marvel comics, I have to change that up a bit, um, and I have here this bread and circuses, um, this is what I feel we have now in our times, or rollerball, um, um, yeah, things, things like that, like corporations doing things behind, um, you know what I mean, behind a facet, and we are just um, with a bread and circuses, just going to work our nine to five. Let me reach here. <coughs> well, this is also like an influence, as you can see. Like, it's it's a bit like what if Fight Club meets Spartacus, um, The Rock. Um, the Matrix and Warhammer Dawn of War. Something like this. Um, Warhammer Dawn of War, because I think, and let me let me show you what I want to do with this. Like this comic I want to do should be like an awesome movie you're watching. Like you're watching The Matrix, you're watching like, or reading Nata Never, or you're enjoying Fight Club. And it's a really cool movie, but it's not a movie, it's a comic. It's a great comic, it's a comic series, maybe like Berserk or something like this, or like Nata Never. Um, this is uh, usually a um, hundred page, page comic, black and white. Um, I, would, I already made a review of this, it will pop up here, but maybe it's an older one, so uh, maybe I do another one. And um, it's drawn really cool. It's um, kind of Blade Runner style. Like this guy is a. Um, what if you had Blade Runner, but not just for one show, but for. Um, this one got to 51. It's an Italian comic uh, by Sergio Bonelli Editore. But this got like to, I don't know, 200 issues or something like this. And every issue it deals with some science, fi science fiction thing. Um, so, it's a mess right now, but bear with me. Um, let me show you, like, it is good versus evil. It is good versus evil uh, in a couple of years from now. And it's facing, let me show you, um, what I've read um, here um, it's pretty it's pretty it's pretty straightforward it's it's kind of a self-help self-help comic book but with a kick-ass attitude of the Matrix Fight Club The Rock Berserk Warhammer 40k explosions you know explosions fights fight scenes all of this the action but then also um, questions like what is real, what is fake, um, where does honesty, honesty lead, uh, what happens if you lie on a small and on a big scale, natural versus unnatural. Because I in my life, and this is where like a book like this comes, like this is somehow a medical book, okay? But all of my life, my father died when I was young, <clears throat> I was 
five years old and that um, I can relate a bit with guts like if you're raised by a single mother like financial stress your mother is stressed and I think a woman should um, this is the times where we're going now it's not like hyper uh, masculine again but masculinity again embraced um, and I will go into that but my mother was stressed out uh, money stress uh, my family was cool but also a bit trashy and I don't don't want to say that like if you're uh, raised as a celebrity that it gets better like look at Shia LaBeouf I, I watched um, a video with him and he was this child actor but always like pretty intense so uh, it isn't said that um, being rich or famous is uh, leads to good things but what this book will be is like um, kind of a retelling of my past and where I had my blind spots and that led step by step um, like always like one percent or, or, or some some bad events lead to a downward spiral but also um, one percent good things lead to an upward upward spiral um, and it's pretty basic like yesterday I didn't eat after uh, 8 p.m. and this morning I break I broke the fast it's called breakfast so the fast has to start somewhere and 8 p.m. I won't put any food into my body I did put food uh, into my body very late this week twice and I didn't sleep well I didn't wake up well I didn't wake up uh, I, w I woke up fatigued and kind of depressed um, and I have a certain age I'm 38 now um, but then I started going to the gym again and my muscles are growing and I'm training my six-pack and it is showing really fast like um, I have experience in the gym and I think I don't want to be an asshole right now but I think this summer I can achieve a body like this and with a body like this ladies ladies are starting to look at me very differently but the past 37 years or when I was young I had dermatitis asthma um, I was a skinny fat kid I had man boobs for a very long time um, the worst of the worst uh, broke um, awkward not dressed well um, no ladies um, friendship was there but also like we didn't really know what we were doing and this comic is about human empowerment a, a bit um, like Nietzsche and those book spoke Zarathustra and I know that Guts and Berserk have a similar um, DNA so and this is this is why I'm sharing in this video because like maybe you have problems you have things you want to overcome and this is my comic power fantasy but also maybe a guideline on what to do and what not to do and while we will for example learn that this character um, what he does his habits and we can learn from him um, he also fights demons we will see uh, what the agenda of the evil guys of this world is um, and I was reading this Dr. Mark Hyman and um, I have also a long history like medical history and with blood and uh, illness and every illness like be it depression dermatitis um, asthma um, and I mean I had severe depression mind fog uh, lethargy um, you name it um, when I changed my lifestyle all of that shit went away when I was small or like 20 years old um, my my skin looked very bad and I couldn't even touch um, I, I, I didn't want to be in the public and um, I want I d didn't want to talk to nobody I didn't want to be touched I, d I, I couldn't like knowing do you know what I mean like I didn't connect I couldn't connect and when I changed my diet, I changed my lifestyle, I went to bed early, um, I started working on my purpose, um, 
my skin started to heal and shit inflammation never come back and this is probably what it is it's inflammation it's broken brains and it's an epidemic and it's also um it's also wait a second where did i put it come on did i do so much research maybe it's in the other book it's it's this if you this is you in a perfect state if you have power health a clear mind energy you can do everything like everything a lot of things will pull you in different directions but you can try you can taste you will know what to do and what not to do but as your mind or body or organ starts to clog clog up as you get put into a machine uh, like um booze on the weekends uh drinking drugs with friends party uh nine to five job like stuff like that or just going with the flow or just going with the mainstream it can be that it leaves you poor depressed and unhealthy it's time to go against the mainstream and this will be my berserk in our times i could cut it off here i should because shorter v videos are better on youtube um but i will show you what i researched let me um let me go Man, did I write so much? Okay, let's let's start here. Um, I was reading this book and what he says about being healthy and about being having an ultra mind. And I was thinking, man, I lived the past 37 years um, not the greatest life. And I was thinking, could I become this year a freaking Superman? And maybe it is possible. Maybe it is possible you cut out the crap and you concentrate on what you really want and then i was here like broken brains anxiety depressions toxins built up in your body uh, body mind bad nutrition if you're clear and healthy you have the power they poison your body who are they well that's a good question i'm not for conspiracy theories but um bear with me for a second then free we want to be free we want to be strong then this is what i talked about like broken homes fatherless stressed out single moms less resources people are resources for knowledge fun play strength joy movement i should put here even for money like money solves a lot of problems um money it can also create a lot of problems but um i guess it's better to have money than not to have money um, and then f a family and tribe enables you to be stronger and this is what we've lost in the western world or maybe in the world at large and the question is are those broken homes um, made is this like is the culture we live in is it like uh, losing its grip or is it is it like uh, is china like trying to destroy us or um, is something evil trying to destroy us or is something evil trying to build toxins uh, toxins in our body so we can be controlled and also like broken mindless jobs consumeristic spiral um, you cannot find fulfillment from yourself because you have no mastery um, and you know what i mean stuff is good I, i'm i definitely love stuff you can see um, but wh how much do you need and then what's job uh, what's a job I mean uh, a lot of people are um, pretty and uh, you need a job you need money but a lot of people um, they don't really choose their job like they choose it and then they stick with it but um, I want to go on a journey where there's purpose where w what are you made for in this life what is your job what is your let's say if the universe or God or something like that um, has made you for a purpose, what is your purpose, and can you um, can you earn something from that? And this guy has mastered this, um, um, and we will go into something li like philosophical stuff, but also there will be also a lot of fighting and action, and the story is about the true human capacity. So you can see. Um, 
even though we don't know much about this we know about the themes it's and uh, the matrix like this world it's much about survival the treadmill the red race and this book will be about awakening which is atrophied atrophied i don't know if i uh, wrote it the right way uh, training of the world and you need time to reflect to escape this control this this soul sucking machine and uh, to go back to what you really are and i've written here the will of god but man whatever this means like the will of the universe the will of nature the will of your heart your soul and i've put here vampire teeth um, because i think well this is a classic good versus evil demons some chaotic thing from a different world and this is why this ki kind of relates to one another like this world is invaded by chaos and this world is invaded by chaos and the dark and i think who knows maybe um, our world is also invaded by that and how you can see it and how you can escape like um here i have something like yeah let's put this here you spend it on short-term pleasure the things that you get that you earn you sell yourself into the sensory experience of the flesh i don't know i i mean i was noting this uh from a book or from a video but i like the sensory experience of the flesh i think you have this for a reason so this will not be a preachy comic it's it's more about what's real what's not real but then there was some like industry pornography drugs manipulation of the people and every time and this is a thing i believe every time you took a take away like freedom responsibility power sovereignty um, something in the human body shrinks and so we're definitely going to be an ubermensch in german it's called ubermensch but yeah um and they say that the matrix or the world here is built by the god of this world some call him yeah well i don't want to name him but they say the god of this world can't extract that energy from you so we have vampiric forces or demonic forces that cannot sustain themselves on their own and maybe are leeching on something unless um, it has humans that builds the structure and so maybe this demonic forces um, hey I don't have here the um, what's it called the invisibles the invisibles definitely is also DNA of this comic and so the human built the structures that uh, it's extracted let's say Andrew Tate I'm a huge fan of Andrew Tate but definitely you have to uh, look at him in a nuanced way so Andrew Tate became hi hyper wealthy by building structures that tie man and that's very interesting to sexual addiction pornography I mean I guess he had a couple of women and then he had like a webcam stuff and that's how it got rich and once you get rich and you have leverage you can start to invest and from that point on if you're not a total dumbass i mean you cannot go broke like investments um you will diversify like put put cash in push ca cash here cash here cash here and it will all appreciate or some will appreciate even if one fails and so uh, he tied men to sexual addiction pornography that tied women in that industry industry as well the industry of pornography harvesting the vitality of man the vitality that allows you to live exchanging it for a sensation the also very interesting like um, semen retention or stuff like that or what can you do what is the human really built for like this this will be an exploration of that um, and like that i will now cut this off i think it's a long enough episode but um let me see definitely like you can see a lot of stuff goes into the research before the comic starts and this is how i will end the comic uh end the video where robert kirkman showed showed how Rick degenerates with a human society or uh, in The Walking Dead. Darryl Donato will show 
how Dario Y elevates himself after 37 year, years of a sub power life to a superhuman, which is our natural state. Well, that's a bit cheesy, but you know what I mean. Um, I had to write something. And then humans are kept dumb, poor, sick, lonely. And what they then have to become is like the opposite, the good stuff. Um, I put down some music and here my goal for all of you is to live life as you were meant to live it. A life full of energy, vitality, pleasure and happiness. And that's from the book The Ultramind Solution. And yeah, it goes on here. Um, and I was also like, this was like stressed, fuck up, guts, brains, low energy. Like, look, this is like what this could look like. Like, um, yeah. And here then I was also taking a look at, um, could I take a look at Ariel Olivetti? Um, I asked Carla Diaz what resources she, she was using. And then she, she said um, she was a domestic class from Ariel Olivetti, I guess, on painting and drawing, a book from TB Choi, a stock image bought from ArtStation. And so I did my own research and then as you can see, I will check out David Finch's channel these days. Um, and yeah, a lot of stuff going on. And I think this is enough. And we'll see us to the next video.